I'm sure you would agree that finding truth in this last hour is like walking through the desert in search of water. In less than a month after uploading the dark portal of New Year's Eve and reaching a quarter million people, YouTube has flagged the video and given us seven days to remove it under the threat that if we don't, they will remove it themselves and give us a strike on the channel. It appears that those in high places don't want this truth to go any further. But little did they know that this attack would be used as a footstool because the information that has been added to this video that we have edited so we could re-upload it once again is not only going to shock you but when you see how these dots connect together you truly will know that the whole world is a stage. I've done so many terrible things, but what we are doing is right. Did you, did you just say right? Brown people, white people, Jews. I assume you're referring to Carl's supposed paper on eugenics. But Carvel was misunderstood. Yeah. Just like Hitler. He wasn't talking about race. He was talking about survival. We've now passed seven billion on this planet. When I was born, it was a little over two. Food prices are rising. Oil is ending. When our resources end in 20 years, given everything that we know of our species, do you really think we're going to just share... So your answer to that is some kind of genocide? No, it is not. It is not genocide. Our answer to this is Janus. Our answer to this is Janus. Our answer to this is Janus. Janus consists of a protein and an amino acid. Independently of each other, they're harmless. But when they're brought together in the subject, they act as a genetic trigger that prevents chromosomal division. The cell targeted can no longer replicate itself and is thereby rendered useless. The change is permanent and hereditary. But you know what I see, Wilson? A planet turned into a desert. A thousand million souls starving. Dying. So let me ask you a question. What would be the odds that in September of 2020, Hollywood would release a series called Utopia, where those at the top that take orders from the dragon would bewitch the masses to be so afraid of a plague on the earth that they would beg for the sorcery. They would beg to be bitten by the serpent only to be drawn in as a pawn in the chessboard of deception. And it just so happens to be that this demonic plan, this secret project would be called Janus. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a whole lot of blue and yellow symbolism in the trailer of this show playing on the screen right before your eyes. And if you have been following the series, 
the whole world is a stage, then you already know what I'm talking about. And you already know how they operate using the power of lesser magic. But I guess some may say this is all a coincidence and there really is no, in the world isn't really a stage. But what if it all does truly connect? That the dragon wants to be like the Most High. And if you know anything about the Most High God from studying the Old and New Testament, he is very particular, accurate, and detailed about what he does and what he plans. And if Lucifer wants to be like the Most High, then he would also leave a trail of moldy breadcrumbs when it comes to the plans and the moves that he will make on the chessboard of deception. In this re-edited and re-uploaded documentary, we will show you how these things all connect way more than we thought. And by the enemy forcing us to take down the original documentary, it has been used as a footstool to backfire in the face of the dragon because now this video is re-uploaded with more information that will not only shock you, but show you how these dots truly connect way deeper than you think. So if you have never seen this documentary, I encourage you to pray to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, the Almighty, for him to open up your understanding so you can see the truth, to get a notepad and a pen and take notes and have your word laid out before you and prepare yourself because what you're about to see is very shocking. And for those who have already seen this documentary, I would recommend you watch it again from the beginning. But for the respect of your time, I am going to put on the screen a timestamp where you can fast forward to to get the new updated information that will connect not only Janice to the abomination and why Hollywood used this lesser magic in this TV show called Utopia connecting Janice to a snake bite that the world would beg for that would ultimately destroy them and how the 12 Caesars that were raised up by the dragon to be his 12 disciples also have a connection to the plan of the abomination in this last hour. You can fast forward to the timestamp on the screen. So before we begin the original documentary with the updated information, I highly encourage you, if you are wise, please pause the video, go into the description box, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our backup channel as well as our Rumble page. Brothers and sisters, it is very wise of you to do this because there are videos with knowledge that YouTube will not allow to be uploaded on this platform. So it is very wise of you to have these other platforms to keep in touch with us and it would be foolish not to take this advice. We love you all so much. With that being said, we will begin the original video with the updated information. Help spread this message to as many as you can. We love you all so much. And we thank you for standing by our side in this last hour. If you had anything to do with the celebration of New Year's Eve, you need to watch this whole video and make sure you do the prayer at the end. And I pray that in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua the Almighty, that your eyes will be opened and you will see the truth. <laughs>
Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out, and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Most of you are saying, man of God, now I know you're trying too hard. I mean, come on. It's just the beginning of a new year. It seems like anything I try to do in the world, you got something to say about it. Well, brothers and sisters, please remember that the word says my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. That means you could literally be rejected by the Lord because of things you did that you weren't supposed to do. Because of things you did not know. New Year's Eve. Sadly, a time when billions upon billions of people blindly stagger their way into what they think is the new year. But today we're going to expose another branch on the satanic tree of Mystery Babylon. You see, there is a very ancient ritual that is done during the New Year's, what you call celebration I call an ancient ritual. 
Now many of you know by now, one of the foundational warnings that we have been giving you from the Lord during these documentaries, like the whole world is a stage series, is that mystery Babylon is the uniting together of all the world's religions under one banner. This is the great stumbling block of the dragon that is cast before the feet of mankind. You see, the devil's agenda is to get the Lord to be provoked to anger against you. He knows that we are made in the image of God. And he can't stop us when we are serving Christ. So what he does is what he did in the days of Israel. Remember Jesus warned us in the book of Revelation. That in the days of Balaam and Balak. That stumbling block was to cause Israel to sin and commit idolatry. That means to get involved in the practices of pagan religions. And he knew that by doing this, it would provoke the Lord to anger and he would lift his hand off of Israel. Why do you think Jeremiah was crying out in the streets day and night? He knew that because of the evil ways, that because of the idolatry of Israel, that because of the idolatry of his people, the king of Babylon would actually have legal ground to not only invade, but carry them away to Babylon. And please remember, at this very moment, all the people were boasting that this is the city of God that cannot be touched by the enemy, but yet the enemy was on the way. So we're here to warn you about these things, so that way you do not provoke the Lord God to anger. Remember, Mystery Babylon is the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. It is the unification of all false religions and every demon that comes with them. And every occult ritual, curse, and demon that comes with them. Ancient fallen ones. This thing, this is not a game, brothers and sisters. So before we expose this mystery of New Year's Eve and you see it for what it is in this demonic portal and I show you what this demonic portal does, we must first go back to Genesis. Remember when God prophesied that it would be by the seed of the woman that Satan's head would be crushed but yet a woman doesn't have a seed. A woman has an egg. So we know very well this is a prophecy of Jesus Christ. But brothers and sisters, all throughout the Bible, there are the prophecies of the Messiah. Little nuggets of details on when he would come, on the things that he would do, and even the time frame. He would come to the earth. One in particular that I want to brush upon is the book of Daniel. The reason why the scroll of Daniel is so hated by the world is because of the accuracy of the prophecies. With detailed, precise descriptions of kings that literally did rise and fall. And if you don't know about this, you need to do your research. Study to show yourself approved unto God. 
and I'm not going to go into great detail because you should know about one of the greatest prophecies of Jesus Christ that Daniel gave us, that was given to us, and it was by the prophet Daniel, a servant of God. And he gave a precise time frame on when Jesus Christ would come to the earth and the signs that would follow to know the season. And to the T, it was precisely fulfilled. But brothers and sisters, have you ever considered that that old serpent, the dragon, is a studier of God's prophecies? Do you think... As thousands of years went by, that Lucifer wasn't worried, concerned, or watching for these prophecies to come to pass? Of course he was. You do know that old serpent, the dragon, studies the word. This is very clear. You can read this when Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior, was fasting. In the wilderness, in the desert, did not Satan quote from the word of God? And if he quoted from the word of God, that means he has studied the word of God. He wasn't studying the word because he loves the Lord. But because in his worldly system, it is a great chessboard of deception. And he was trying constantly, day and night, to make moves to try to get ahead of the Messiah. He knows he can't beat God, but he's aiming at beating God's people. So he strategically puts up moves throughout the decades, throughout the years. He has been strategizing plans, even chess moves that would be a hundred years ahead, a thousand years ahead, two thousand years ahead. By raising up these pagan religions in hopes to confuse the masses and serve false gods rather than the true and living God. So as he is making his moves on his chessboard of deception, he was looking out for the signs of the coming of the Messiah. I said all that to say this. What would be the odds? I mean, think about the wise men that followed after the star. That glorious lighted body in the sky and followed that glorious light right to the very feet of the Messiah just born in the earth, just born, brought to the earth as a baby did not the ruler did not Herod tremble did he not want to know about the Messiah remember Satan slaughtered the firstborns in the days of Moses and he did it again in the days of Christ because he was literally terrified and got so desperate to the point he thought he could kill the Messiah to stop the prophecy from coming to pass. But of course he failed. But I needed you to see. I just wanted you to go on a brief walk with me to see how long Satan has been playing this game of chess. And although... This is just but a small video in the whole world is a stage series. But this is a revelation that the Most High gave me that I must release to all of you. And thank God you're watching this right now. And the reason we went on that journey is so that way you can look back into history and see the moves that are being played on the chessboard by the dragon. To know your enemy's future, you must study his past. And before we talk about New Year's Eve, we must go back to when it began. 
Remember that the axe is laid at the root of the tree.